Hi folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. And we're looking at presuppositional apologetics. Matt Slick says this, this form of Christian apologetics deals with presuppositions. A Christian presuppositionalist presupposes God's existence and argues from that perspective to show the validity of Christian theism. This position also presupposes the truth of the Christian scriptures and relies on the validity and powers of the gospel to change lives, Romans chapter 116. From the scriptures we see that the unbeliever is sinful in his mind, Romans 1 18, 22, and un unable to understand spiritual things, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 14. This means that no matter how convincing the evidence or good the logic, an unbeliever can cannot come to faith because his fallen nature will distort how he perceives the truth. The only thing that can ultimately change him is regeneration. To this end, presuppositional, uh, presuppositionalists seek to change a person's presuppositions to be conformity with biblical revelation. I have found that a per person's presuppositions are extremely important when discussing God and the validity of Christianity. I always ask diagnostic questions to find out where a person is philosophically and presuppositionally so I might better discuss Christianity. This is a very important point to focus on because one presupposition will govern how one interprets facts. Please consider uh, this. Okay, so that's my slick. I'll put a link to uh, that article there. Uh, presuppositional apologetics was developed by uh, uh, an apologist called Cornelius Van Til. If you go to Westminster Theological Seminary, uh, they're a seminary that advocate presuppositional apologetics. Presuppositional apologetics, um, I think Matt Slick has put it too simplified there. I think there's a lot more to it that we need to unpack. Basically, there are some pre ideas that everybody has, and according to how those pre ideas are, will reveal where unwittingly that there is a God. So for example, one presupposition is the uniformity of nature. The atheist, for example, will conduct their reasoning and their logic on the basis that tomorrow nature will be there. But there is no reason to expect that nature will be there tomorrow. In other words, there is something behind nature that is maintaining nature so that it will be faithful to be there in the morning when you wake up. So in other words, there are these presuppositions that people use unwittingly that if you point out to them what those presuppositions are, they should be able to realize that they actually believe in God, even though they didn't think they did. So another presupposition is that we all act in a moral way, in a, in a sort of responsible way. Now the atheists will say, well, morality is, pre is, from pre uh, is from social norms, but you can point out that actually atheists show there is a universal morality which actually confirms what the Bible has been saying, so they actually believe in God. So basically presuppositional apologetics is pointing out people's unwitting beliefs in God that they don't realize they have. Um, the strengths of presuppositional apologetics is a lot of people aren't trained in philosophy so if you engage in it it kind of like puts people off the guard and, and they can't handle it a lot of people. The problem with a presuppositional apologetics if it's done in a debating situation or if it's done on the streets in street preaching uh, as from a street preacher perspective, people can uh, be very distrustful of you because they think you're playing some kind of philosophical trick. So you've got to be careful there. And also you've got to be careful in debate when you're debating people because at university because it's good to have solid evidences as well as doing presuppositional apologetics. So those are the strengths and weaknesses. Uh, Greg Banson has been a student of, he's dead now, but uh, was a student of Cornelius Van Til. Uh, you can get hold of his lectures on presuppositional apologetics. Uh, there are courses at Westminster Theological Seminary. And Sky Bruggengate is a, an, uh, a practitioner of uh, this uh, apologetics. Please try and read Van Til's works because a lot of people get what Van Til is saying wrong. So you can get Van Til's works 
uh, online if you just type in Cornelius Van Til you'll be able to pick up a uh, PDF of some of his works for free and I would encourage you to read them okay thank you for listening take care